the best and worst players Real Madrid have signed from the Premier League. Eden Hazard appears bound for Real Madrid in the summer with the Spanish giants prepared to offer Chelsea pound 100 million for the Belgian star. The player seems to have made up his mind that the Bernabeu is the right destination for him and has spoken warmly about Real in the past. But Hazard would be far from the first player Real have signed from a Premier League club, and while some have been overwhelming successes, others most certainly have not. 1998 Signed from Coventry City, £3.4 million in one of the most curious, and suspicious, transfer dealings of all time, Croatian World Cup star Robert Jarni made the move from Real Betis to Real Madrid in the summer of 1998, via Coventry. The left-back had impressed as Croatia reached the semi-finals of that summer's tournament in France and so there were certainly plenty of raised eyebrows when he moved from Real Betis to Highfield Road. The Sky Blues had finished 11th in the previous Premiership season and yet had managed to pull off this coup for a bargain price of £2.6 million. It all seemed too good to be true, and it was. Jarni's name would only ever appear on the Coventry shirts bought by excited supporters as he was off to Madrid a mere 10 days later. Coventry made £1 million profit and the theory was that Madrid needed a third party involved because Betis wouldn't sell directly to a rival. Jarni, however, has always maintained that his family didn't want to move to England and there is nothing to see here. 1999, Liverpool, Free McManaman became only the second Englishman to play for Real Madrid, after Laurie Cunningham in the 1980s, when he joined on a Bosman free transfer in the summer of 1999. But the flying midfielder's time in Spain began in acrimonious circumstances with dressing room rancor and a debt crisis marking the end of Gus Hiddink's time in charge. The dressing room is a cesspit of lies, treachery and whispers, Raúl told the press at the time. I feel sorry for new players like Steve McManaman coming into the club. If McManaman thinks he is coming to one of the world's top clubs then he has made a big mistake. Indeed. On the same day McManaman was being unveiled at the Bernabeu, Clarence Seedorf and Fernando Jairo had a massive bust up in the dressing room at the training ground. However, the club stabilized under John Toshak and Vicente del Bosque and McManaman impressed in a first season that saw Real win the Champions League. The Englishman scored a delicious volley and the 3-0 final win over Valencia. But this bright star soon faded as McManaman became a victim of the club's Galactico policy that saw stars arrive each summer and push him further down the pecking order. 1999, Arsenal, £22.3 million Perhaps one of the reasons for Real's financial troubles was their willingness to spend £22.3 million, peanuts in today's football market but a hefty sum back then, on the likes of Van Elke. The often volatile Frenchman whose nickname was Le Soc, had scored 17 Premier League goals for Arsenal during the 1998-99 season, persuading Real to splash the cash. But he failed to find the net in his first five months with the club, his first goal coming against Saudi Arabian team Al Nasser at the inaugural FIFA Club World Championship in Brazil. In March, Anilka was suspended by club president Lorenzo Sanz after refusing to train following an argument with manager Del Bosque. And even though he returned to help Real win the 2000 Champions League, scoring in both legs of the semi-final against Bayern Munich, the writing was very much on the wall and he moved to PSG. 2003, Manchester United, £25 million in one of the most high-profile transfer sagas in football history. Real and rivals Barcelona battled it out to sign Beckham from United in 2003. The England star's time at Old Trafford was as good as over when Sir Alex Ferguson kicked the boot that struck him above the eye following a fuck up defeat to Arsenal. Real won the race to sign Beckham, making him their latest Galactico after Luis Figo, Zinedine Zidane, and Ronaldo had arrived in previous summers of the Florentino Perez presidency. Beckham's time at Real was not as successful as it might have been, he played 155 matches for the club, though they came during what turned out to be a lean period for such a successful side. Before moving to LA Galaxy in 2007, 
Beckham did help Real win the league title but the potential of the team was never realised in that period. 2004, Liverpool, £8 million Real's strange desire to sign the stars of the England team continued when they took Owen from Liverpool for a snip at £8 million in 2004. The forward had a superb goal return at Anfield, scoring 158 times and 297 appearances for the club, and Owen certainly held his own in a star-studded team. After a sluggish start, Owen began to score regularly and his sole season at the Bernabeu yielded 16 goals from 45 outings. Unfortunately life moves fast at Real and the signings of Brazilian pair Robinho and Julio Baptista in the summer of 2005 saw Owen return to the Premier League with Newcastle. 2004, Newcastle United, £13.4 million It's fair to say there was a mood of widespread bewilderment in Madrid when the club announced the signing of injury-prone defender Woodgate. Real fans had heard of Michael Owen but Woodgate wasn't quite the alternative most imagined when Milan refused to sell all Alessandro Nesta. It didn't bode well that Woodgate was actually out injured at the time of his £13.4 million signing and a calamitous debut against Athletic Bilbao in which he scored a known goal and was sent off only increased fears. But when fit, Woodgate did successfully establish himself at the heart of Real's backline and one Spanish newspaper even described him as Madrid's true leader. Unfortunately all that was short-lived as the injury curse struck again and with that in mind. It was a bit harsh that real fans voted him the worst Madrid signing of the 21st century in an online poll in July 2007. 2005, Everton, £2.45 million The no-nonsense Danish midfielder didn't himself believe that he'd just been transferred to Real Madrid in the January 2005 transfer window. Especially when the club president Perez is saying things like, he is without doubt the player we are missing. It is true that Real were in urgent need of a defensive midfielder but Graveson's tough tackling approach wasn't ever likely to find favour among the footballing purists in Madrid. It didn't help Graveson that there was a change of manager but he didn't help himself by going in hard on star player Robino during a training session, leading to an altercation. Manager Fabio Capello wasn't impressed. He's just a little bit particular. I don't mess with him. His behaviour is like this and I don't like it, everything has to be done like he wants it to be done. Graveson was sold to Celtic shortly after, at the start of the 2006-07 season. 2006, Arsenal, loan you would lose count of the number of times Real have used the Spanish media to unsettle a player purely by linking them with the club. This is what happened with Arsenal's Spanish striker Reyes, and midfielder Cesc Fabregas in the summer of 2006 to the fury of Arsene Wenger. In the end, Reyes went to Madrid on loan with the out-of-favor Baptista moving in the opposite direction for the season. Reyes managed seven goals during his loan spell but that was enough to remain in Madrid. He signed for Atletico in the summer of 2007. 2006, Manchester United 11 million pounds goals are everything for Real Madrid and there were few more reliable scorers in Europe at that time than Van Nistelrooy. The prolific Dutchman had scored 150 goals and 219 appearances over the course of five seasons at United and the 10 million pounds fee paid by Real was a snip. Van Nistelrooy was excellent during his debut season, scoring 33 times in all and his 25 in the league were enough to win the Pichichi Trophy for a leading scorer as well as the league crown. But Van Nistelrooy was in his 30s and increasingly prone to injury, undergoing exploratory surgery on a knee problem during the 2008-09 season. Things weren't the same afterwards but a return of 64 goals in 96 games for real underlined just how good Van Gaal, as he was nicknamed in Spain, was in his pump. 2007, Liverpool, free Dudek's heroics for Liverpool in the 2005 Champions League final comeback against AC Milan assured the Polish keeper legendary status on Merseyside. Indeed the double save he made for Mandry Shevchenko in extra time in Istanbul was voted the greatest Champions League moment of all time in a poll clearly rigged by Scousers. Dudek was 34 when Real signed him as cover for Iker Casillas in 2007. He was a popular presence around the place during his four seasons with the club but made just the 12 appearances. 2007, 
Manchester United, £8 million when Sir Alex Ferguson allowed Argentine defender Heinze to find a new club following a lack of game time, he didn't have Liverpool in mind. Hell would freeze over before Fergie would sell to United's greatest rivals and so Heinze found himself on his way to Real for £8 million, which was actually more than Liverpool's £6.8 million offer. Heinze played fairly regularly during his two seasons with Real and he helped them win the league title in 2007-8, finishing eight points clear of Villarreal. 2007, Chelsea, £24 million to be honest. Heinz's arrival at the Bernabeu was completely overshadowed by that of Dutch wing wizard Robin, who was unveiled alongside him. Speculation over a move from Chelsea had slowly grown over the summer, with Real also interested in Michael Ballack. In the end, Real got their man towards the end of the transfer window in August 2007 for £24 million and Robin played often during their victorious league campaign. He continued to play an important role during 2008-09, scoring eight goals, but was then bumped out to make room for the imminent arrivals of Cristiano Ronaldo and Kaka. As he was pushed out to Bayern Munich, Robin claimed he was forced to leave, saying that he didn't want to go, but the club wanted to sell him. Luckily, he proved an enormous success with Bayern. 2009, Portsmouth 20 million pounds France defensive midfielder Dyer had played for Arsenal, Chelsea and Portsmouth in the Premier League and clearly shown enough talent to persuade Real to shell out 20 million pounds for him in January 2009. Dyer's work rate earned him favor with the notoriously fickle Madridista support and in three and a half seasons with the club, he played 117 times. He helped Real win the league title during the 2011-12 season having lifting the Copa del Rey the year before. Like pretty much everyone who comes to Madrid, Dyer fell down the pecking order and concluded his career with Enzymak Hakkila, Lokomotiv Moscow, Marseille, Al Jazeera and Paris Saint-Germain. 2009, West Ham, loaned the confused expression on the face of real legend Alfredo Di Stefano's face as he presented Faubert with a No-18 shirt perfectly summed up one of the bizarre transfers in football history. Here was a man who barely played for West Ham being signed on loan by one of the greatest clubs in the world with a deal including the option to sign him on a three-year contract if all went well. As pundit Paul Merson said at the time, his agent should be knighted.